guys, welcome, 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 welcome back, welcome back, this is your girl. So today, 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 we're going to supplement some napkins from the Dollar Tree. So, we're going to get our stuff together, and you're going to need the napkins, your image, some heat tape, some scissors, um, some, I'm using parchment paper because it doesn't stick, and my um, Teflon sheet. So, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. So I went here, as you see, I cut out all my images and I'm placing them on the mat, the, the napkins, everything on, and I'm waiting for the heat press. We have it set for 385. We're going to press it for 60 seconds, a full 60 seconds. And I learned um, you got to give it a... Uh, a nice firm press so if you're doing it from a press you want to put it on not not too heavy but a nice firm press so I guess and not too heavy but like a, a a steady press the easy hand press you want to give it a nice firm press so you want to give it some pressure you don't want to press it too light because you're pressing the images and you don't and you don't have to worry about the um, napkins burning Unless you're doing way too much. And y'all know me, your girl always doing way too much. But I have it set at, no, I think I said I told y'all, did I say 385? No, I have it set at like three, 390. 385 to 390. I got it, I can't remember guys, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, I have it set at um 390. And I gave it a nice price for... 60 seconds, you have to play with it. Everybody thing is different. Everybody machine is different. It could be the same machine, but everybody's works different. Just because it's the same doesn't mean that you're going to get the same result that the next person did. Boom. So, like I said, I pressed it for um 60 seconds, but I played with it because I did it for maybe 45 seconds on some. Some I did. Um... 45 I did 40 45 50 55 up until I got to the results that I wanted I played around with the temperatures I started with like 380 to 35 as you see in the beginning of the video I have my notebook on the side because I always write down my notes and my notes I always write down because everything is different temperatures so once I found out what works for me is 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 what works for me and I write it down so I know going forward when I do it again I know what setting it is what settings to use so that's something guys you I always tell you in all my videos no matter what it is even I'm just doing a regular Q&A whatever it is a month whatever type of it is I always tell you write down your stuff write it down it's important it's important it's important and I advise you to use pen and paper because you never know, you use your phone to put it down, you, something can happen, and you lost it. So at least you got the pen and paper, it's reliable, you can go back to it. So, now I'm pressing the other design, and I'm going to see how this one, um, this one come out. So, as you see, so this, do guys, do you do not have to use tape for this, because you don't want to put tape on it, because you don't want to tape um that the, the tape to the napkin remember it's napkin the napkin is already easy to rip so once you put the tape on it you gotta the tape gonna melt to the napkin and then you try to pull it off you're gonna rip the um you're gonna rip your napkin now if you can you can put um put down the parchment paper or bushment bushment butcher paper and then you can tape the image to the paper you know so that way but then it's still going to stick because the, unless your image goes all the way over the paper. In my situation, um, I can't because um, my image, the way that I printed it, is not going to go all the way over the paper. So, yeah. But you don't really have to just take your time. Be careful. And then some of my things, when I put it down, I, I try to make sure that my paper doesn't shift. Because if you don't want your paper to shift... If it shifts, then that means your image is going to come out crooked or, you know, anything. So, just be careful when you do it. And, um, yeah. So, like I said, write down your temperature. Write down your timing. 
write down what it is. So these are napkins that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm writing down the Pacific napkins that I got, napkins that I got from the Dollar Tree, which are a pack of 30, and these are the small ones, and they're the white. So I wrote that down. Then I'm writing down the settings. I got my my Easy Press at three three ninety, and I'm pressing them for a full. I said 60 seconds, right? I'm pressing it for a full 50, 5 zero. I'm sorry, I said that before. I said five, I said 60 seconds. Because I did do 60 seconds, but 60 seconds was a little too long. It worked. It didn't, it didn't mess it up, but I could see, like, it was just a little, it, it was a little too dark. So when I did the, the 50 seconds, it came out perfect. So, yeah. So I wrote it down in my book, 390, 50 seconds for the small white napkins from the Dollar Tree, a pack of 30. That's just how I wrote it, guys. That's just how I wrote it. You write it however you want so you remember. This is how I know I'm going to remember. So and I, if I have to do this one again, because I have some other ones I have to do. So I don't know if those other napkins are going to be the same. Even though they're from the Dollar Tree, I don't know if they're going to be the same. And then I have some napkins that I got from um, Party City. So I don't know if they're going to, like, come out the same. It's going to be the same setting, the same heat press. I don't know. But for this one, that's what it is. So, you, like I said, always write it down. You see, you always want to write your stuff down. So whatever you do. As you see in the previous video that I did for the um, Dollar Tree um, erase pattern was, I had to write everything down, it took me forever, that I had to keep doing it, keep doing it, to get the settings, until you get it right, so don't, don't think just going in, some people here, you luck up, and because I have luck up sometimes on my first go, boom, I got it, but that's not the case, a lot of times, try and error, you're gonna, it's gonna take at least a couple of tries before you get it down pat, before you master it, it's gonna take some time, so just just know that just keep that in mind just know that keep that in mind guys just keep that in mind it's going to take some um a couple of um errors a couple of tries like i said you might you get it sometime on that first go you get it and you good but then guess what you go to press that second time it's all jacked up because you so hyped that you got it done in that first go that you like, oh, yeah, I got this, I got this, because that's me. I'm like, yeah, I got this, I got this. So now I go to press, because I know that first one came out, the bomb, the bomb, diggity bomb. So it's like, boom, I got this, your girl hype. I go to press the second one. The second one might come out good. So now you can't tell me nothing. I'm going to the third one. The third one come all jacked up, all messed up. And I'm looking like, huh, what, what? How? Wait, wait, what happened? Because I was too confident because the first two came good. And remember, that was my first go around doing this. So that's why I say it's going to take a couple of times before you get it down the pack. Write everything down, even the stuff that, that the errors. Write it down. And then I'm going to tell you, I was so geeked up. Like, yeah, I got it. Not even paying attention, guys. I literally reuse one that I already pressed. You see, is see how light that is, because I had already um used that used that on the last one, and then realize it. So when you finish it, that's why they always tell you get rid of because you cannot reuse a sublimation um print. You cannot reuse it, and that's what I did. Not realizing, I thought that it was one of the new ones that I had sitting in, and I pressed it. Then once it's pressed. I realized it as I'm pressing. I'm like, wait, did I get a new one? Was that the old? But it was already too late. And I had already pressed. So I, I was like, let me just get in and do the full 50 minutes. And when it's done, I know. And when it was done, I knew it was one that I had already did. Oop, too late. But it's still going to be used. But just, just, just keep that in mind. When you supplement, once you done, you finish with that print, get rid of it. Throw it in the garbage. I'm, t I'm telling you, throw it away. You want to do that anyway as you go when you're dealing with sublimation, especially as you go. 
when you're doing a shirt or whatever it is when you're using especially when you're using your butcher paper and your parsing paper as you finish it get rid of that sheet get you some fresh sheets because you might not see the ink the ink might have like embezzlement through the through the sheet you know through the um paper and you don't know unless you're using certain they do have certain sublimation um printing paper i'm not going to say the names of it you have to do that yourself because i'm not getting and i'm not getting um anything off of it so i'm not getting no promotion but there are some that's out there that you can use and you know i don't know and like i said and i don't want to like put it out there because i haven't used it so i really don't know if it works i'm just going by what they say it works so if they say it work it work hey who am i to say it didn't because i haven't used it and i haven't tried it and i don't plan on getting it so i'm i'm i do what works for me so make sure when you finish your image like i said throw away the throw away the the paper Whatever it is, the parchment paper, the printing paper, whatever it is, you want to get rid of it. Tell me that didn't come out good. Boom, your girl getting it. Your girl getting it. So, like I said, you just want to keep doing it, keep doing it. And and it's just like everything in time. The more you do it, the better you get. The more you do it, the better you get. Repeat after me, guys. The more you do it, the better you get. The more, the better. The more, the better. So, yeah, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing these. I'm just lining them up. I can do, like, more than one at a time, but your girl ain't really got too much more um, left to do. So I decide to give, I want to give each one their special attention. You know what I mean? You know? So that's why you see me now. I'm starting to do one at a time to give it their special attention. But you can do more than one, especially when you're doing it on the, if you have a, if you have the bigger hand press, you could do like four at a time. If you're doing, if you have a big heat press, you can do four at a time. You know, some can do six at a time. It, it depends on the size that you have, the size of hand press or heat um, machine you have. So keep that in mind as well. But um, like I said, you know, when you're dealing with supplementation, because the heat activates, that's why you have, they always, if you notice, it's always have to be anywhere from 365 and up. Because that the, you need that heat to activate the ink. And you can, you, you guys, y'all don't see it, but you, it's like a little odor. Once it starts activating the heat, activates it's a little older. You can smell it. It's not a strong smell, but you can smell it. And you can and then once it starts, you you can see the heat. Even you know, you might see a lot of people you see us finning it because it's hot. But we really not really finning it because it's hot. You we finning it because of the smoke. It's like a little smoke from the, the ink where it activate it, it it um I don't know, it's it's a word I'm looking for. I can't figure it out. But you'll get the point. So, like I said, it's coming out so beautiful. And, you know, you just take your time. Like I said, you write everything down and you do what works for you, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, these are the settings that work for me. So, just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So, do what you think is best, guys. Let me know which one you all think is the best. I like them both. So, you know, make sure you leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If y'all have any advice for me, y'all let me know. You know, leave the comments down. I'm learning just like y'all learning. We all learning together. So, like I said, these are my napkins. Um, I heat 390, press it for 50 seconds. And they are both. These, this is my niece, Kayla, her graduation. And she asked, well, her mom asked, I don't know if she even know. But my mom said she needed help with the decoration. So I said, boom, all right, let me jump on it. In between my spare time, I'm, I'm prepping. So I be prepping stuff until her arm um, graduate, you know, until the day of her graduation, her graduation cookout, June 24th. Everyone say congratulations to my niece, Kayla. Congratulations, Kayla. And congratulations to all 
all the um people that's graduating in 2022. Congratulations. And yes, yeah, so this is um the napkins. Uh this only I think I did like 30 in total and I got a bunch more to do. I have time. I did some of the um the Dollar Tree Race Boards for her graduation. And I'm gonna and I got a couple of more things. I got the plates I got to um make. So stay tuned for that. You'll see the place that I'm gonna do. Um and the place uh um I got them from the Dollar Tree as well, the clear place. And I'm gonna place her um the same picture on the bottom of the plate. And I have some cups. I'm gonna do the cups. Um I'm gonna do her uh, um boards. So stay tuned. We got a, a bunch of different things we're going to be making for this graduation. And I really, really appreciate you guys for rocking with your girl and hanging in there with me. This is one of the ones that I was trying to show you that I think that I didn't press long enough. For like I, this one, I think I did for like 40 seconds or 45 seconds. And I didn't have enough pressure on it. So that's why I say make sure you um work with learn your machine well you should know your machine by now but if you don't learn the um the settings what works for you like i said i started off with 45 seconds for like i think 385 for like 45 seconds i think and and as i say you can't go by what everybody else is going by so even though i'm like i said i'm telling you but still play around with it. You can start off with what I'm saying. And you can see, okay, maybe that's too much. Turn it, take it down or not. Or turn it up or not. So, you know, because that's what I did. I wrote, I did my research. I did my research from a lot of my craft groups. From a lot of YouTube videos. Did my research. I wrote everything down. And I played with it. What, other, what works for other people didn't work for me. I play with it. I adjust my um settings. I adjust my timer until I got it to where I want it. You see the difference? The, you, you, you can really see the difference. So I had to play with it, guys, until I got it to where I want it to be. How I needed it. How I want it. And as you see, it just takes a little, you know, playing around with it. Get it to where you want it. And then once you get it. To the settings that you need then you're good to go you don't have to worry and then you can just finish off everything you need so like i said you know just 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 play with it till you get it to your liking your settings and things like that always always like i said write your stuff down always always write it down pen make pen and paper your best friends get you a journey get you a notebook you can get them out the dollar store, Walmart, Target, anywhere, Amazon. Get you a book. You can even get you a book and customize that book. So sometimes that helps people too. You, you got a pretty book. It's going to always make you want to write in it. Because that, that's with me. I'm like, oh, because I want to show it up. So I always want to pull my book out in front of people. You know what I'm saying? So get you a book. Write your stuff down, guys. I promise you that makes... uh a whole lot of difference that makes a big big difference god write yourself down write it down you can even write the i mean write it down down to the details if you have to write it down i mean i plan everything even like okay today such and such day today is march 8th i'm going to press these napkins such and such, such. I mean, let's just write it down so you know when you go back to recover, you got it. So this is the results of, like I told you, the the napkins and the um, the Dollar Tree erase boards. And like I said, you just have to play with your settings, play with everything, and you will see the difference. Guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Have you done this? If you plan on doing it, love you guys. And this one, I just opened it so you can see the inside.